All right, an exciting day today. The brand new Cadillac 2022 CT5 V Blackwing behind me. This car is equipped with a 6.2 liter pushrod motor, supercharged with a 1.7 liter supercharger. Same LT4 platform that's in the C7 Z06s, as well as the ZL1 Camaros, as well as the old Cadillac CT uh, S V3s. What makes this one a little bit different than the other ones, obviously the new body looks a little bit larger than the V3s. And then this one is on a global B network, similar to the C8 uh, ECMs, and as well as the new GM truck models. So tuning on this thing is, we'll call it a issue, or at least a bump in the road for now. But in this case, I wanted to start with the stock platform. We baselined it, and I wanted to do a few mods in order so I can share with y'all the gains that we see, as well as for our own knowledge, uh, kind of like a little R&D project to see what mods to go with before we maximize the factory fuel system. So the car behind us, we just got done test driving it. We've already dynoed it. Uh, this one baselined, I think, 579 rear wheel horsepower. We did a ported supercharger and a 103 throttle body. Those are the only two mods we did. Uh, we did change the supercharger pulley. We, we changed the hub, um, but the blower speed is still the same. Um, we did that for future to make our lives easier to change the supercharger pulley. So just from changing those, porting the blower and the 103 throttle body, we went from 579 to 670 rear wheel horsepower. 90 rear wheel horsepower gain. Again, that is with zero tuning. So next up, we're gonna test. We're gonna put a drop in air filter in it, see how much horsepower we gain. And then I think probably in about a week or two, we're gonna put some American Racing long tube headers on it with some high flow cats, see what kind of gains we get. After that, that's when I'm gonna turn the boost up just a little bit to see my goal is to hit around 700 rear wheel horsepower while keeping it super safe. And if I can do that with what we have behind me with a few little mods, that's what I'm going to do. Um, just know that in the future, I have plans to hopefully then test a new cow in this thing to see what it picks up with an aftermarket tune in it. So stay tuned, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, all in all, perfect car, enjoyable car to drive. Comment below as always, and have a good day. Morning. We got us. No, it, it might yeah. not be morning. Well, it is right. It is here. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> All right. So, what's better than morning or hey guys or what's up guys or uh, welcome back guys? All right. You can do the Anthony. Hey, uh, he goes, hey guys. That's his then, thing. And then, uh, and then, um, hey like guys. He, 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 he's like, hey guys. Catch it down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Brian. Uh, we got a Cadillac CT5 Blackwing. Uh, we just did a baseline dyno tune, not tune. All right, let me start over. <laughs> I'm just being nosy. Come on, coach. This is the audience. I'm just being the audience. <laughs> All right. All right. Start over. Okay. Anthony, don't fuck with him. <laughs> All right, we got us a Cadillac CT5 Blackwing. We just did a baseline dyno pull yesterday, um, and we're keeping it as stock as we can keep it looking. So what we've done, uh, what we're about to do, is take off the blower and put a ported blower, an exported blower by Kong, right here. And we're gonna keep the stock lid. So no one would be the wiser it's going to look exactly like this but it's going to put out quite a bit more horsepower so really quick job but it'll wake this thing up like nothing else so what do you got to say about that acting coach he did pretty good although he does not have very confident in eye contact with the camera not very energetic he's not very energetic and he got a lot of filler words um we did um yeah we're gonna classic rookie mistakes rookie <laughs> Well, it, it, it's it's practice and record. nerve wracking when there's um, I'm better one, with one script. million of our yeah. um, subscribers out one there. One million. Watching, uh, <laughs> he needs a script like a teleprompter. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Hey, Joe Biden has that and he can't pull that yeah. off, right? Valid point. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm smarter than him.
<laughs> Hopefully for me. Well, if you quit drinking that Bud Light, you might be. Maybe. Oh, dang. <laughs> I don't think I've had Bud Light since beer pong in college. Wait, wait, hold Maybe on. I should now, though. Boy, like Kelly Bice's, right? Don't let him lie to you. There's beer cans What's in the back it? of his truck. Yeah, yeah but they're Keystone. <laughs> All right, Was there Bud so. Light there? Sit on the table behind you. And ready for this. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. No problem. How are you doing today? Pretty fucking good. <laughs> doing some more C8. Stuff here. Oh yeah, I'm in C8 land right now. Looks like heaven. Oh yeah. That's right. <laughs> Pretty sick. I said 50 rural horsepower gain. First pull it already, I think, right on the money. Some pretty big wheels, and I'm gonna call them some rubber band tires. So, traction is probably gonna be an issue. I'll leave traction control on, see what happens first pull. shifted the one to two. Golly, these things are fun. It's so quiet and so smooth. Just until when 11 second pass. All right, so the first pull was 11.8 at 126 miles an hour. To be honest, guys, I messed up and I was trying to, I told myself I was gonna drag you this car before we worked on it to get a true reading of what this car did with these wheels and tires on it in these conditions to show before and after. And we're so busy at the shop, yeah, just forgot and the car got built. So I'm sorry guys. Those of you out there watching, please comment below of any videos y'all have seen online of these cars either on the street 
with a draggy, what kind of quarter mile times they've shown, 60 to 130 times, or if you've seen any at a drag strip um, running, please post their times below. Um, my parts guy said yesterday he looked and the one he found went an 11, seven at 116 miles an hour maybe 117 so again on these wheels and tires our 60 foot's pretty bad so the et's probably not going to show what it should but the mile per hour should show the true gains of how much horsepower we're getting out of this thing so if we show a nine mile an hour increase um that's quite a bit so from a roll this thing will be a lot faster obviously than it was stock and again, I haven't done much research online to see how fast these things have been. So comment below so I can uh, hear what you guys have to say because I know y'all probably watch a lot more than I do. So it's nice and hot here in Texas. Humidity is horrible, but we're still gonna run it and see what happens. It'll probably do the same thing if I had to guess. It's got a lot more heat in it now that I've been sitting at idle and saving that last log. Let's do it again. All right, I'm still leaving traction control on. Maybe next time I will try without it. it shifts once that thing gets into second gear this thing rolls oh yeah 11 7 126 miles an hour again almost identical mile an hour 126.47 incredible and a car that is so smooth